Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Linux. And if you ever think about changing to another operating system, if you get tired of Windows and you want to try something new, I think you should really consider Linux. And today I'm going to give you 9 reasons why you want to be considering Linux as your next operating system. And you can actually install both of them on the same computer. You're just going to choose them. As soon as you start your computer, you can choose either you want to run Linux or Windows. So the reason number one, Linux is free. And you know, everybody likes free stuff. I know sometimes you can get free stuff which is not really good, but this is not the case with Linux. Linux is free, it's absolutely free. You don't have to spend a penny on it and you can save actually a couple hundred bucks if you, if you don't have to buy Windows or Apple, Mac OS, whatever that is. So yeah, this, I think this is a really major thing. You know, you don't have to spend money on it. Plus every software that you get on Linux is free as well. I know there are some distributions that you still have to buy. Majority of distributions for Linux are free and unlike Windows, you don't have to buy any licenses or any other stuff. So I think this is great and yeah, so this is reason number one. The reason number two, Linux is compatible with the old and low-end hardware. And I know nowadays many people don't have old hardware and it's pretty easy to buy a new hardware but in case you have an older computer that you want to run and actually there is some lightweight distros for the old hardware so they can be run on basically any hardware you can find. Yeah, this is the reason number two. That might not be the real reason for you because I know most of the people don't have that old hardware but anyway I decided to mention this because that's a good point. The reason number three is driver installation. Windows 10 got much better with driver installation than its predecessors like Windows 8 or Windows 7, Windows XP was terrible. Like to download drivers, you basically had to like go and search it on your own online and just find each one separately when you install the brand new operating system, which is, was a real pain. But Linux was always better and when you install Linux, all the drivers go automatically and also they get updated automatically as well so this is uh, reason number three why you should be considering Linux if you want to switch from Windows. The reason number four Linux got a software center that you can get all the apps installed and they're all free as well so yeah this is a cool feature I know it's not unique only to Linux you get Windows Store nowadays you get like Apple Store and this is something to mention so that it's actually easy to install apps on Linux and it's easy to find them because they're all in in the one place you just gotta you just gotta go to the software center find the app that you need let's say you need a screen recorder or you need a microphone recorder or you need something else you just can go to that center download it install it and it's there the reason number five, Linux got hassle-free updates. And it's not only updating your operating system, it also updates the software that's installed in your system. How cool is that? Usually when you get Windows updates installed, there's something going wrong and you might be lucky not to notice it, but it could slow down your system. Some settings can go missing and you have to redo it. So yeah, usually Windows is not great at it. But Linux, you can update it, there's no problems. and it also updates the software that you have there. So that's that's really cool. Point number six, you can customize Linux as much as you want. Basically, you can get your own desktop environment customized to your own preferences and to your own likes and feel. It can be changed to however you like it. Also, if you prefer Windows-like environment, you, there is lots of distros that are Windows-like, so you don't have to be trying to figure out the new operating system, how it works or where to click. It's pretty much similar to Windows, just like you used to, but it's gonna be Linux. Okay, I put this as the reason number seven, but honestly, I could probably put it as reason number one. Linux has really great support for its users, so the community support is great. If you have any problem with Linux, if you don't know how to use something, you can just go online, ask the question, and you'll get that answer. Not just like a, yeah, just try that they will try to help you until you get to the bottom of it. So this is a really good community support and they're all trying to support each other. So I think this is really important and we should all try to support each other. That'd be great. You know, if, if you get help from somebody and somebody and help somebody as well, you know, so that's awesome. The reason number eight, Linux is an open source software. So that will be great for those of you who like programming. If you know how to change stuff, you can actually fix it and get it better. And for those of you who don't know how to do it, you can rely on thousands of users who know how to do it 
and they do it better for you. So if there is any issue, they'll fix it and they will make it better for everybody else. Like an example, if you have a car and you're a mechanic, you want to be able to open up the hood and see what's inside there and fix it, improve it. If something's wrong, you don't want to be taking it to the service center all the time or the dealership. This is the same thing with Linux. If you know how to work with the source code, you want to be able to look it up. But Windows and Apple, they hide that code and you cannot see it. But Linux, it's an open source, so you can actually open it up, change it, fix it, which is great. All right, and the reason number nine, and the final reason, and this is my favorite reason, is it's much safer than any other operating system, including Windows, Mac OS, or, well, that's pretty much it, right? And the reason for that, it has a big community of developers and users who can fix any issues found in any distros and they do it quick. As soon as somebody finds the problem, they fix it right away. Unlike Linux, Windows usually takes days, weeks, months before you get an update that's fixing some kind of issue with the Windows operating system. So you can get a problem with thousands of computers before that issue is going to be fixed. Of course, you can say Linux is not that popular, so whoever create those attacks, they don't really point to the Linux users. Well, that's true. But if that's true, then it's up to you. Do you want to be using a much safer operating system or do you want to be using this operating system that's targeted to all the viruses, all the malware or all the spying software? Like it's, yeah, so it's up to you. And reason being, you actually don't need an antivirus software on Linux because there's really not much viruses for it and as soon as you get any problem it gets fixed right away so it's much more safer and in this case you can be saving hundreds of dollars that you're going to be spending on antiviruses on a regular operating system so so to wrap it all up i know many people won't probably go for linux right away but you should give it a try you know and for this reason i actually created a video you can watch it up here how you can create a bootable media with the linux mint and you can just plug it into computer you can run it and then after you take it out you can still run your windows so this will give you an idea of how it looks how it works and if you like it you can also keep it you can install it permanently on your computer and have two operating systems if you want to switch between one another or you can just have it on the usb stick and then whenever you go if you want to just connect to another computer and just plug it in there you go you have a, your own operating system on the usb stick so make sure you guys you check out this video at the top left corner or I'm gonna put it in the description as well. So I hope this video was helpful to you and you like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel to support my channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss other videos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.